hey what's going on guys we have this question right here it's asking determine the force in members bc bc and cf cf is this one and then if we write this is so in this kind of question what we have to do is we have to first cut this one into half before that i put the direction here so we know there's some force connecting this side and this is going upside and since this is here the reaction is going to be opposite side here the reaction is opposite side and it's going to be this side so this is the information we have so from this information first uh, for this kind of question we have to have cut this into half and draw this part separately so if I draw this it's going to be like this so this is C, C, D and E right and here we have here 600 LB um, 800 LB 800 pounds and the what else we have this force acting on it this is uh, EF also here we have a force acting on it this is CF and here is a force acting on it it's BC so since we have this one here we know the angle between this is 45 degree how do I know because if you see the height is 4 feet and the width is 4 feet so if I to use tan inverse 4 by 4 it's going to be 45 degree so this is 45 degree so the first thing I, I would like to do is I would like to take all the uh, vertical components so sigma fy in statics the whole uh, whole force is zero and if I take the uh, upside positive I will end up with uh, this 600 acting downward so it's going to be minus 600 lb 600 and uh, if you see this is 45 degree right this 45 degree and cf cf acting on upside so it's going to be cf sin t sin 45 degree plus cf sin 45 degree and we have another force acting downside it's going to be 800 mm, that's all that's all uh, that's all the vertical commands we have so this is equal to zero if i solve for cf it will end up to be um, it will come as 1980 pounds and from the diagram if you see CF uh, these arrows are facing each other so it's a tension so we have found CF so this is done and what else I can do I can so to we have two unknown two forces here so to get rid of this I take the moment around see so if I take moment around C, the total moment around C is, C is going to be zero in statics. And if I take uh, clockwise positive and solve for this one, this uh, D800 force is pulling this object down. Therefore, it is clockwise. Therefore, it's going to be 800 times distance is four feet. So therefore, I multiply 800 times four. And what else we have? We have uh, we have to forget this part because we are taking the moment around C and this E F. This E F is pulling the object counterclockwise. So we are taking clockwise positive. So this is gonna be counterclockwise and the height is four feet. So I have to multiply E F. It's gonna be negative E F times four equal to that those are the only only moment we have around C. So moment around C, this is the first equal to zero. If I solve this one, this is going to be 1600, 3200 minus 4EF equal to zero. If I solve for EF, it comes out to be 800, 800 pounds. And this is uh, EF is also a tension because the arrows are facing each other. So this is going to be a tension. So we have found this one and let's find BC. 
to find the basis so we have found vertical components horizontal uh, moment around c now let's use the horizontal components to find uh, find bc because bc is acting horizontally so we can find it let's see so moment uh, total horizontal moment is going to be equal to zero in statics if i take this one for this side positive it's going to be bc is going to be positive because it's acting in on this direction therefore it's going to be positive bc and what else we have we have ef acting on the opposite side so it's going to be negative we have found the ef already it's 800 so it's going to be negative 800 800 and also we have this one cf cf uh, cos 45 so it's going to be it's also acting opposite direction therefore it's going to be negative cf cos 45 degree we have found cf already is 1980 lb so you have to plug it that's value here and solve for bc so if you solve for bc you will end up with 2200 lb 2200 pounds so since uh, this is acting on direction the reaction is going to be opposite side anyway therefore this is a compression compression because the arrows are not facing each other therefore it's going to be compression that's all we not that's all we need to know bc we found bc cefe and state the members are in tension of compression we have done everything i hope you guys like this video see you next time